my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, uh, loss of water and uh, it's medically known as dehydration and uh, you know water is a critical uh, element of the body and uh, uh, keeping the body adequately hydrated is must to allow the body to function properly you know and uh, you know up to 75 percent of the body's weight is made up of water and uh, most of the water is found within the cells of the body um, which is known as uh, intracellular space you know and uh, uh, the rest is found in the extracellular space which consists of the blood vessels uh, and uh, the spaces between the cells you know known as uh, interstitial spaces and uh, dehydration occurs when the amount of water leaving the body is greater than the amount of uh, intake you know and the body is very dynamic and always changing you know and, uh, and this is especially true with the water in the body and uh, we lose water routinely when we breathe and uh, humidified air leaves the body you know and uh, with sweat to cool the body temperature you know and uh, eliminate the waste by urinating or having the bowel movements you know so these are the ways we lose water you know and uh, we need uh, uh, to drink a lot of water uh, just to keep that balance you know uh, between the uh, the water we lose and the water we drink you know so uh, you now the formula for the daily fluid requirement depends upon the individual's weight you know and uh, normally fluids are and the weight are calculated using the uh, metric system you know and uh, like uh, the, for example you know is a if someone's weight is 10 pounds you know so he need to drink at least 15 ounces of uh, water every day and uh, if someone whose weight is uh, for example 100 pounds you know he must drink 50 ounces 55 uh, 50 ounces water you know and if it's 150 pounds then um, 65 ounces and uh, uh, 200 pounds means 70 ounces you know and if uh, one thing that you should keep in mind that if you lose too much water it's really emergency you could uh, because dehydration sometimes could be life-threatening you know and uh, young and the elderly are especially uh, susceptible of dehydration uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day thank you and goodbye